Robots are not capable of love and poetry. I have computed the probability. Binary code does not lie. Cross my circuits and hope to fry. I hope viruses don't infect and my kernel to protect. Back me up while I sleep. I give the cloud my data to keep. Although they say my silicone heart is made of stone, why is it that I feel so alone? For you. Oh, great. Sign here. I've been waiting for this baby for six weeks. I can't wait to get to the lab to install it. I'm excited for you. Thank you. This ought to do it. Smoke test time. It's alive! Just completed android robot will tweet progress later now you need a name how about ruby ruby the robot my name is dr egon do you understand yes I understand, Dr. Egon. What is your primary function? My primary function is to assist you, Dr. Egon, in your daily activities. Very good, Ruby. Hey, Frank, how's it going? So did you get the SPUs? You got them? They were backordered for like months. That's awesome. So did you finish your robot? So cool. Yeah, with the SPUs, we should be able to finish mine, too. Thank you so much for all of your help. So tell me, what's your robot like? It's so cool. I upgraded the CPU to a 64-core ice cube, and it has 1028 DOFs. The bot builder group should be blown away. By the way, do you want to go out on Friday to the robot tweet up? Sure, that sounds great. Okay, is 6 okay? Yeah, sure, see you at 6. Do you think you could come by and pick me up? I can show you Ruby. Oh, no worries. I totally want to meet her. Hi, Francine. Hey, Frank. How are you? Great. I want to introduce you to Ruby. Ruby? This is Francine. Hi, Ruby. It's a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure of meeting you is all mine. You are wearing lovely shoes. Thank you. You're very gracious. Well, we should get going. Ruby, I may be out late this evening, so don't stay up. But don't forget to dock to your charging station. Okay, Dr. Egon. I will not wait up for you. It was a good experience to meet a female. Ruby, I'll see you again soon. Bye. Goodbye, Dr. Egon and Francine. Have a wonderful night. What is your destination? In car, Boulder. I cannot find NCAR. Calculating Boulder, Colorado. National Center for Atmospheric Research, Boulder, Colorado. Calculating. Would you like me to drive to this no, destination? Thanks. I'll drive tonight. The National Center for Atmospheric Research, NCAR, is a federally funded. It's great that NCAR lets us use their auditorium for the meetups. Yeah. You should bring Ruby next time, show her off. So do you think after the meeting you could help me install the SPUs and 
and get my robot going? Sure. Don't even think about it. Oh, come on. You have to say it's alive. <laughs> you are such a dork. Are you addressing me? Oh, I see your speech processing unit is working. We need to give you a name so you know when we're addressing you. Is my name Dork? <laughs> no. Your name is Max. It's an acronym for Male Android Experiment. I understand. My name is Max. What are your names? I'm Francine Delacroix. You can call me Francine. I am your administrator, and this is Dr. Egon. It's nice to meet you, Max. It is nice to meet you also. Do you know your primary function? Yes, my firmware primary function is to assist my administrator, Francine, in your daily activities. Good job, Max. Oh, Ruby, you made breakfast. That's great. I'm starving. That is good, Dr. Egon. I have prepared a 740 calorie meal for you. Would you like more nutritional information? No thanks, Ruby. I've already got a nap for that. Thanks for making breakfast, Ruby. Could you grab my iPad, please? I've uploaded some tasks for you to complete today. I'm gonna to take a shower and then go to work. Yes, Dr. Egon. Okay, Ruby, I'll be home at five. Upstairs working in my office. I've uploaded a few tasks for you to do today. Thank you, Francine. I enjoy assisting you in your daily activities. Indestructible moon monsters. Their ghastly mission 
death for all humans. Do you think there is someone out there for me? I have computed the probabilities. Robots are not capable of love. Unsuspected revelations of incredible horrors that will terrify you with their brutal reality. Hi, Ruby. How was your day? Hello, Dr. Egon. My tasks are completed. It was a pleasure to assist you in your daily activities. How was your day? Just meetings all day. What's for dinner? I'm starving. A wholesome 640-calorie meal. Lightly breaded chicken nuggets with crinkle-cut fries, a side of corn, and a rich brownie make this meal a favorite with kids and big kids alike. Step 1. Remove UCFL light bulb by turning counterclockwise. Step 2. Warning. Lamp contains mercury properly disposed in accordance with disposal laws. Recycle where facilities exist. Step 3. Install replacement bulb. Step 4. Microwave on high for 4 minutes. Uh, Max? Max, are you okay? Ruby, would you please answer the door? Francine. Uh, Ruby, hi. Um, there's a little bit of a situation. Is Frank, uh, Dr. Egon, around? Ruby, I need to speak to Dr. Egon. Francine, what's going on? It's Max. He shocked himself. We need to get him to the lab. He may need parts I don't have. Okay, let's go. We should bring Ruby, too. She might have some spare parts. What is your destination? BIT, Boulder. I cannot find BIT. Destination is Boulder Institute of Technology, you stupid machine. Would you like me to drive to this destination? No, I'll drive tonight. You are exceeding the posted speed limit by 15 mile per hour. Shut up! Is he gonna be okay? He's just a robot. We need to find which cards you brought and replace them. Can you hand me the voltmeter? It looks like you fried the power supply diodes and probably some RAM. We can replace the power supply card and use some of Ruby's RAM to get them to boot. I think there's a new power supply card on the top drawer of that cabinet. And Ruby, would you mind laying down next to Max? I'm going to have to turn you off for a minute.
happened? Where am I? Who are you? Hello, Max. I am Ruby. Hello, Ruby. A pleasure to meet you. You are very attractive. Are you a female robot? Yes, she is, Max. And you had an accident. Ruby here lent you some of her parts so you can function. Thank you, Dr. Egon, Francine, and Ruby for making me fully functional. Max, do you believe that robots are capable of love?